hello guys today i am going to show you how to make the j table click to do different things for example if you click anywhere in the table so all the data if you want in these text boxes so how can we do that i will show you today first of all just drag the text boxes and give them a label which i have already shown you previously then right click on the j table go to event and go to mouse and mouse click it will automatically go to the source window here Maybe we will make a try create block first try exception e and just write j option paint dot show message dialog box null comma e now and try block first of all declare a variable int int row is equal to whatever is your table name so our table name is table employee is equal to table employee dot get selected row then declare a string string mm, consider a string name anything I will name it as table click is equal to in the brackets the table name dot get model dot get value at and in the value at right row which is this variable and here uh, right zero I'm taking zero because I want to consider employee ID or zeroth uh, component of the table and then dot to string because you considered as it as a string now as usual right PST con dot prepare statement where I came yeah. 
here write psd dom com dot prepare statement oh, I forgot to write a query so first write a query string sql is equal to select a star from our table name which is employee info and find where employee id is equal to which is this employee id name is equal to a string variable name which is table click just paste it here select star from employee id where employee id in employee info where employee id is equal to our variable string then write prepare statement is equal to con dot prepare statement sql and rs is equal to psd dot execute query then write it here if statements in this if statement it rs dot next if rs dot next consider any string string I will consider as add one and one is equal to rs dot rs dot get string and box right the name of one of these columns right now we want employee id name surname and age so one by one we will write in the blocks first of all employee id id employee id and you want this employee id into this text field copy the name of the text field and paste it here dot set text is equal to add one which we have taken here so for all four text field you have to do like same I'm copying and pasting three times one two three and change the variable name add two add three add four here also add two add three and four All right and we have to change these text field as the na these names so for name my variable name is text name so replace this name as text name then third field my name is text surname replace 
it here text surname and my fourth field name is text age so replace it here text age and here you want to show take data from data table so our name column name is name I think and let's see our column names are employee ID name surname and age name surname we have written this code let's try to run it we run the program okay it says no such column called employee id okay so i have to check check my column name what is my column name my column name is in instead of employee id i by mistake have taken the column name employee id e m p o y double e i d so i have to change the spelling here here and also here now let's try to run the program and when I click this table it shows the data once again click the table it shows the data so this was the simple tutorial to use jtable click and show the data into the text field thanks for now keep on watching and please rate comment and subscribe bye